This is a relaxing and leisure four day backpacking trip in Montana's Absorca Beartooth Wilderness. Day one, we started near the base of the 4x4 road that leads to Goose Lake. Not having a vehicle with significant clearance, we walked the road to the wilderness boundary, where we continued to Cavity Lake. Day two, we lost elevation toward Incisor Lake, regained it to the Goose Creek drainage, then tackled an unnamed pass before finding camp in the Grasshopper Glacial Lakes Basin. Day three, we were originally going to go over a notch near the Grasshopper Glacier, but further review suggested it was impossible without an ice axe or crampons, which we didn't bring. We did run into some climbers who said going over Mount Wills was doable. Further observation suggested the same. However, the amount of work it would take would defeat the purpose of this being an easy trip, so we backtracked to an unnamed lake above Goose Lake for the final night. Day four, we roadwalked back out to the truck. This was a much needed and very welcome, somewhat longer and very leisure trip to cap off the summer before the large trips start rolling out. Enjoy. Well, after a year of turmoil in this area, from what it seems like, uh, Lacey and I finally made it back to the Absorca Beartooth Wilderness. This is going to be a four-day, three-night trip. Uh, the main objective is to see the Grasshopper Glacier. There is a road that gets you somewhat close to the Grasshopper Glacier, but it is a 4 by 4 road uh, that you need a pretty beefy Jeep, uh, from what I'm understanding. Big tires are one of those side-by-sides, so... My truck doesn't qualify, so we're parked here at the upper Lady of the Lake Trailhead where we'll be popping out uh, at the end of this trip. And we're going to do some road walking today to get to the Grasshopper Glacier Trailhead. And uh, not seeing the glacier today, we're heading to Cavity Lake first. But we get to pass Goose Lake, which 
seems really pretty on the map. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's get going. Well, at least I could see why it's a 4x4 road. It's basically just a riverbed the whole way up, it seems like. There were some big steps there. This section isn't too bad, actually, but there's some one to two foot tall blocks earlier. And if you don't have anything, probably any a tire bigger than 33s, you might not get over. The road sees a lot of wear, it looks like. Here's like this really pretty lake. At the base of those really spiky guys is Upper Arrow Lake, which is one of my favorite alpine lakes. First people we saw went by in a quad and a dirt bike. We are on a 4x4 road and the wilderness doesn't technically start till you get to the Grasshopper Glacier Trailhead, which is about like a mile and a half from Goose Lake. We're almost to the Grasshopper Glacier Trailhead. And the views are getting quite epic. Here is Goose Lake. Not as big as the Arrow Lakes, but pretty big nonetheless. I think we're gonna head up for this bench here. Oh, where's my finger? And take break, because there's another little lake up there and we'll have a good overview of this lake and be really close to cavity after that. And we just finished with our little break and uh, we're gonna head up this fella right here and then do some boulder hopping over to Cavity Lake and get camp set up. Tell the Beartooths had a lot of wet weather and snow because Labor Day there's still some decent wildflower blooms, not everything's brown like last year.
So there's Cavity Lake, right in there. So we just gotta negotiate this little scree field. And uh, we're on the home stretch. Really pretty grouping of peaks. Nice and I are now going through this perennial snow field in this chute. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. The Wreck Cavity Lake. There's where Lacey and I came down from. And there's where we came up from. I'm gonna start slowly swinging you over to a sweet view of this lake. It's definitely a cavity, that's for sure. The mountains around it are absolutely massive. There's a cavity lake. Here's the big mountain above Cavity Lake. The view's kind of bad right now because of the sun, but I'll get a better shot of it in the morning. But this is what it looks like right now. Little camp is set up. Not the most flat spot, but it'll do. Not a lot of flat around here. I don't know if there's fish here, but we're gonna give it a shot. This place is spectacular. And there's camp right now. We're gonna have a beer evening right there. This side definitely has the more flat spots, but it's uh, a little too late for that. We're already set up. I think the view's better from our way because you got a lake front with this backdrop. That's pretty cool. Beautiful place. I saw two people today and they weren't even backpacking or hiking, they were just using the Forest Service road we were walking along. That is fantastic. So it's near an evening here at uh, Cavity Lake. Tried to fish, no luck with that. I don't even think we've seen any fish jump since being here. Uh, so it's beer 30 and I'm having a Shake a day double GCIPA from Big Sky Brewing from Montana. Tastes pretty good. Uh, what are you having, Lacey? It's a Smirnoff seltzer and what? it's 8% and it's only 67 calories. Blood orange. <laughs> <laughs> Zero sugar. How's it taste? Um, it's it's strong. <laughs> Definitely burns a little bit when it goes down. Was it kind of heavy carrying it up? Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. A lot lighter than a 12 pack Coors. Ah, comparable. <laughs> <laughs> but we're just going to be enjoying this for a while. A 
Good morning, it is day two. We slept in and it felt amazing. Here's Cavity Lake in a new light. Today's objective, camp it somewhere near the Grasshopper Glacier. The camp is all packed up. One last look of Cavity Lake before we begin our leg over to the Grasshopper Glacier. So the drainage we are going to take is uh, this guy right here. We're going to drop down into here, work our way up and intersect the Grasshopper Glacier Trail, which the map goes to the top of the pass and vanishes. And then we're just going to boulder hop our way around the Grasshopper Glacier and see um, if there's any flat spots for us to camp. I made it to the basin up that scree field. Got one more hump to go before connecting up the Grasshopper Glacier Trail, which leads us to, at least I think, an unnamed pass because all the maps I look at don't have it named. Yeah, we're heading right there. And the unnamed pass is like right there behind that guy. Well, Lacey and I are taking a pack off break here. It's another really hot day. Today's a very low mileage day, but we're just taking it easy. Uh, this getting a little tired of the heat. I think it's about time for some that crisp, cool fall weather. Uh, but anyways, once we get our packs back on, we're gonna be dropping down and then up that slope that way towards the uh, 
unnamed pass towards the Grasshopper Glacier. There's Goose Lake. The trail is right there. But instead of dealing with this, we'll eventually intersect with it. We're just gonna keep going up at an angle here so we don't have to lose anything. Oh, Lacey and I have connected up with the trail. And uh, we're gonna take it all the way to the pass, which is right there. Got a beautiful, clear day today. Here's the lake we're camping at. Doesn't look like we get to it from here. We don't have any ice axe or crampons or anything, so we're gonna have to uh, head back this way, off camera there, then drop down to here, then walk back along this way. at another section similar to Star Pass in the Sierra. Pass me down this pack here. And we're going on these rocks to get past this ice since we don't have an ice axe or crampons. And then we're on the home stretch of that beautiful lake. Camp is set up.
Well, it is five o'clock and Lisa and I just rested for a couple hours and now we're going to uh, take a crack at this guy right here. Some nice surrounding views. Lacey and I have made it to the top. God, I love this range so much. Massive marine field. Pretty sizable lake down in the canyon right now. Another pretty lake right there. Not be able to see it because of the shade, but there's another pretty lake right there. And another pretty lake right there. And another pretty lake right there. And another pretty lake right there. Beautiful. Good morning, it is day three. It's 
Pretty windy last night. Beautiful spot. All right. We are all packed up. Uh, the original route was to go over this guy. The topo shows this a lot more mellow, but it's not. It's a sheer cliff. And there's ice and snow. We don't have an ice axe or crampons, so that's no-go. Uh, we passed a climber who uh, said this might be doable here. It's a lot of rotted scree, but the amount of rocks falling right now. I don't feel like being a uh, part of a bowling alley, the rocks being the bowling ball right now. So we're going to backtrack and then find another lake to camp at. Back up at that unnamed pass by the Grasshopper Glacier. Really windy, a lot less smoky today. You can see the lake we're aiming for. It's the tiny snow field just above Goose Lake. There's a lake tucked in there. That's where we'll go. We are back along Goose Lake. This is where we are headed. They're on our way up.
Well, I think we found a nice spot for camp. Uh, the lake is just down the hill there. Uh, great view, super windy, so no point in really fishing right now. I don't think we've ever caught a fish and it was this windy, ever. So we're just gonna relax. Somehow there is cell service here, so that kind of sucks, but... Just keeps expanding, I guess. Lace and I were sitting here, the smoke has actually cleared up quite a bit. We're back overlooking Goose Lake. Good morning, it is day four. Pretty good sunrise. Well, we're packed up and it's time to head out. We're just gonna retrace our steps. Hopefully we see some wildlife.
just go.